Hey guys, be sure to stick around to the end of the reading as I teach you how to do a simple glamour spell for this Valentine's Day. Ladies, I think you'll find this particularly tasteful. Scorpio, welcome to your Valentine's Day love reading. I hope you are well. Scorpio, let's get right into the reading. We're going to start by clearing the energy with the bell. If you're wearing headphones, I suggest turning them down just a little bit as I don't want to hurt your ears. All right, here we go. If you'd like to participate with me, take in one deep breath through your nose and hold until I tell you to release out of your mouth. Ready? Inhale. And exhale. All right, Scorpio, welcome back. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If something does resonate with you guys, do be sure to leave your good loving energy on the channel with a like or a subscribe. And thank you for all the ways that you support White Crow Tarot. Welcome back. All right, guys, season with Fountain Tarot today to paint your story, clarifying for you today with the Royal Dark Tarot. This is an intimate sexual tarot reading, so do expect to see see and hear uh, graphic sexual illustrations and potentially also language that is suitable for the topic okay i pre-pull your oracle energy and we clarify that at the end of the reading scorpio are you paying attention to the signs you are being shown the signs are you seeing them you may also be seeing the number 23 a lot that's a download for you 23 underlying we have the ace of wands sorry there's a little glare on the Thing. Ace of Wands in reverse. These are like super white cards, too. So. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Ace of Wands in reverse. High Priestess. High Priestess. We're quiet about our passion or which way we're directing our course of action at the moment. Why do I get the feeling like we worry that we don't want others to know exactly where we're headed at this time or what we're doing? Or we're just being very private. Yeah, where we're going. Literally Six of Swords here. Someone could be returning to you. What is the current energy, please, for Scorpio for Valentine? Send me the Valentine's Day energy. What is the Valentine's energy for Scorpio looking like? You know what I meant to do, Scorpio? In fact, there's time. I'm going to get an overall for you. I meant to get an overall for you. Sorry. This is the White Witch Tarot that I'm using for you. It includes only the Major Arcana which I like to see. This gives me a good general overview of what the energy is for the reading. What is the overall energy, please, for Scorpio? Show me the overall energy for Scorpio. Thank you. We have the Hierophant. Kind of flipped out in reverse, but it is the Hierophant. The Hierophant. Considering endings, we are considering endings, or our own beliefs or spirituality, or our own, or we're seeing things. I just got. We're seeing things. 
like shimmers and flashes of light. Maybe even people. <laughs> We're seeing things. Okay. But it's also making us call in our own beliefs about what we know to be true, especially with the Hierophant. You could be dealing with a Taurus at this time. Or have a significant Taurus placement. So you let me know. Alright. Show me that Valentine's energy place for Scorpio. Thank you. Queen of Cups in reverse. The world. Alright. We are wrapping up a heavy emotional cycle, a cycle of depression is the first word that came to mind. So we may have recently gone through heavy endings, loss, things like that. Um, we're wrapping that up and it's personal for you. It's personal. I feel like you're wrapping this cycle up that you've been in in your life, Scorpio, in order so that you can embrace the new. Queen of Swords in reverse under the bottom of the deck. You're not talking with this person? We're not talking though. Not talking. Because we're going through such an emotional shift right now. That world could also be your strength at this time, Scorpio. Is there a weakness, please? For Scorpio? The Hermit? Going within? Going within? Connecting? Feeling sure? That light in the dark, the ghost that you're seeing. I saw a ghost. I'm seeing a ghost. Yeah. You saw it. Two of swords in reverse, but I'm not sure. Did I really see what I thought I saw? Did I really see what I thought I saw? What's true and what's false? Is there anyone around Scorpio at this time? Could be a Virgo. Scorpio should be interested in you're doubting yourself. Five of Swords, and that is also your challenge. Five of Swords, we doubt. That is the challenge. The challenge is doubt. I don't know if what I saw is true. Am I seeing a ghost? Will you see a ghost? Maybe even around Valentine's? But take the supernatural off the table for just a second. This is telling me that we have, we have doubt as to whether we don't want to be alone. We don't want to be alone. Straight up. I think you're actually wrapping up the cycle, Scorpio. Let's see how this ends, please. What is the potential outcome, please, for Scorpio in this situation for Valentine's? There's been a lot of protection around you, Scorpio. So if you're facing endings at this time, Endings, literally, the Ten of Pentacles, a Ten Cycle, in your favor, by the way, I might add, Ten of Pentacles, which I'm happy to see, so at least there's good news for you, but it is a Ten. It's a Ten, 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 Ten is the end, right? So you've got protection around you as you close these cycles out, and there's increase in money and abundance coming to you as well, Scorpio. Like I said, heed the signs, the warning signs, judgment in reverse. Spirits all around you talking to you. Are you seeing the signs, Scorpio? Are you seeing the signs? Are you paying attention? Are you paying attention? We have 22, 9, 5, and 10. 22, 9, 5, 10. And judgment in 20, 20, 21. 2021 could have been a very trying year. I know it was for me. Let's clarify, shall we? With the Royal Dark Tarot. Ooh. The Sun. I haven't shuffled this deck yet, but you were meant to see that. Three of Swords. You were also meant to see that. 
Tears of joy. I just got tears of joy, Scorpio. You're going to be so happy. You cry tears of joy. You're letting go. You're not holding on so tight. You can, you can relax. I feel the need to say you can relax. You're not trying to control the situation with this person, whoever they are, whoever they are. There's been contention, all right? There's been some contention. Show me this Queen of Cups, please. Which is you, I do believe. King of Wands in reverse. Aries Leo Saj in reverse. So this person's been kind of a shapeshifter on you, manipulating you, possibly leaving you on red. This person left you on red. There's a delay also between you and this person. Let me know if you're dealing with any fire sign or a Pisces. Hanged man on the bottom of the deck. This person... This person likes making you their slave, but I don't, I don't, for some reason, whoever this person is, I don't feel like if you guys are into dominance, BDSM, whatever, whatever the case may be here, which I'm sensing, um, I don't feel like this person knows how to properly dominate you. Who's the dominant in this situation? Someone doesn't know how to properly give commands. Truth. Ace of Swords. Someone, you've cut this person off, by the way. This situation is being cut off. This person doesn't know how to be, doesn't know how to own it. Doesn't know how to be the leader. And I know that matters to you, Scorpio. I know that matters to you. Especially for those of you who have Scorpio in specific placements in your chart. Oh yeah, that matters. That matters a lot. Hence why things are coming to an end, yes? Okay, why? Why is the world here, please? I like decided energy, and I think you like decided energy too, my dear. You, to the point, but it left you, you're someone who's still trying to hold the cycle open. You to the point, Scorpio. Death. Your power card in reverse. So we're not happy about this. Of course you're not happy about this. Despite the ending, Despite what has to change here, you're not happy, of course. And it's okay to own that feeling and to own that emotion, Scorpio. You're going through this physical, this emotional transformation because you're being ready to be to receive your gift. Throat chakra. You are literally getting ready to receive your gifts. In fact, for many of you, I feel like this is old. An old cycle, an old maybe karmic situation that you were in, because it's and it's at the start of your reading, which I really like. This is old news, old news, Scorpio. Whoever this person is, okay, they didn't know how to lead, so it got cut off, and you went through a death cycle. You had to, you had to heal as well. Okay, we'll follow death, please. Yeah. We released that. We were, we were, we were up in it, honey. Nine of Swords in reverse. So we released that. We released that mental pressure. Or you're releasing it now. I feel like a cycle that you let go of in the past is revolving into something new, but you went into hermit mode. Many of you will. You had to go through that dark night of the soul. That was the challenge. That was your weakness. Going within to do the inner work in order to call in something new. I can already had, go ahead and tell you many of you are going through that right now. And as someone who's been there myself, I understand. You're going through the dark night right now. For many of you. For those of you who are who are listening to this reading, who's whoever whoever I'm talking to today, where this resonates, you're here for a reason because you're learning how to transmute this energy. You did not go through this for nothing. Okay? You're in hermit mode now, doing what? Two cards. <sighs> yeah, I'd say so. 
Getting justice for the Seven of Swords. Justice to the Seven of Swords. So if you're watching Boba, Boba Fett, <laughs> really love that movie, or the, the show. I just started watching it myself, too. And Scorpio, yes, I do have you in my chart, by the way. Um, yeah. You went quiet, and you've been quiet, and there's some form of personal justice, and you're not even speaking about your truth. There could have been three people around you who were deceptive. Right. I'm also sensing that uh, there's ghosts, by the way, that you're seeing. Three. 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 Something significant about two and three. We do have the two, 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 twenty, two, twenty, two portal coming up. Scorpio. You may want to pay attention to that. We're changing. There's a dramatic change coming in that's going to bring you the Ten of Coin. A new foundation. A new solid foundation for yourself, I feel the need to say, Scorpio. Hello. Ten of Pentacles again, as we speak. Five to the ten. Seven, ten. Coming in sooner, sooner rather than later is also what I'm getting. Sooner rather than later, the moment you, the moment you stop fighting for this, that's a that's a legacy right here. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, oh. I knew I wasn't seeing the whole story here. Hang on. Okay. Ten, ten. You dropped that mental pressure, the Nine of Swords here. The Nine of Swords in reverse to the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you cut off the head of the lion here. You broke up with that Leo. Or to the Magician. You know why I love the Magician in this particular scenario, this particular story, Scorpio? is because the magician doesn't have all of his tools. He's like an apprentice. And that is what you feel like coming out of what you're going through here. Many of you, whoever I'm talking to today, where this really resonates with you, you are the apprentice. You haven't been given all of your tools yet. You're like Odin in front of the tree, about to go into hanged man, right? To suspend yourself to see a different perspective about the world that you need to see. And what does Odin do when he hangs from the tree? He's given the runes. He hangs upside down for 12 days, and at the end of that cycle, he is given the runes. You are like Odin right now, and there's a mask. You're learning. You're going to learn about you. After you've cut off the head of this lion, that's over. It's over. No more stress for you. Let me know if you're dealing with a Gemini. Kind of a lot of Gemini here for you. Okay. Someone wants to be the single catalyst of change. They made it out as if they wanted it, but did they? Did they? Was there protection? Were they just guarded in the first place? Did they really open up to you, Scorpio? Did they really give you what you wanted? Did they really say what it was you wanted to hear? Did they re whisper sweet nothings in your ear? Does it matter? You're on your own personal journey now, I feel like. Like, does this even matter? You're the magician here. You're coming out now as the magician. Man or woman, by the way. So, magician, where would you like to go? Because you're holding a broadsword. You've learned these lessons. That's why your guard is up with the Nine of Wands here. Okay? You've learned your lesson. You're still guarded to any sort of new beginning because... How can, you, how can you possibly do that when you're healing? When you had to boss up now and become the emperor. The emperor. To go after your own fortune, to go after your own legacy, to go after your own establishment. 
your own work. Many of you are working now and you're earning the money. Maybe this situation with your partner also forced you to have to become self-sufficient, self-reliable again. For others of you, take this story off, off the back burner. You're entering into a new cycle, as many of you have, with a new person. Some of you recently got married. I just heard. Congrats. All right. And you're also going back to work. Okay, in a connection. Is it stressing you out? Are you doubting yourself personally and what you're capable of doing? Some of you have been in isolation, hermit, for a long time, and getting out of it was the challenge for you. Okay? Getting out of the hermit, this phase of not letting people see what I was personally going through, right? Even though, even the jobs and opportunities I was lining myself up for, okay? That's for someone here too. All right. Interview after interview after interview application. Yes, no, yes, no, 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 no. Yes, okay. We're interested, but are we? Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck to close this out. Universe. How do we want it? How do you want it? How do you feel? How do you feel, Scorpio? Coming up as a nigga in a cash game Living in a fast lane Ah, oh, for real Is that who I'm talking to today? Got some Tupac fans out here? Advice for Scorpio, please. Advice for Scorpio. You need more information? Less watching, more doing. That's your advice. Less watching, more doing. What are you watching anyway? The chariot. Watching a cancer? Something to do with our transportation and movement. We felt chained in one place. We were afraid to travel. Yeah. There's love. Someone wants to return. Or someone's just watching. Watching out. You're watching out and the eyes are significant here. As my favorite Scorpio tarot reader loves to say, sassy Scorpion tarot. I love her. Have shot her out just a second. Okay. Um, it's the eyes. It is the eyes. These cards are so specific for a reason, actually. The eyes. This person has brown eyes. They have impenetrable eyes. They look. They can they can discern you just looking into your eyes. Yeah. You're gonna know it the moment you look into their eyes, is what I feel the need to say. You'll know. You'll know. Six could be a marker for you, for singles, okay, as far as love goes. For others of you, you know it. You love watching this person. They love watching you, actually. They love watching you, Scorpio, from afar. They like watching you move, something about your body and how you move. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. This this new person, I feel like, whoever they are. Or your person, period. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Notice the signs, Scorpio. <laughs> yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you are loved and never alone. Absolutely, Scorpio. I love it. I love this energy. I love it. How do you want it? Who had that? Virgo. Virgo had a reading like that. Virgo's here, so you may want to go check out... Never mind. This is your reading. Oh, yes. We are working with Raphael, are we? I hear you. We have Kaleno. 
the jade star surrender jade could be a wonderful uh, it's a love stone obviously but uh, it could be a wonderful stone for you to work with right now scorpio i want to say that's for you we have surrender though i'm ready to let go with self-compassion I'm ready to allow the universe to work on behalf of, um, in my favor, to conspire for me. The universe is conspiring with you and for you, Scorpio. It's conspiring on your behalf to bring you the love and abundance that you deserve, okay? In a connection or in yourself. The relationship we have with our self is important and most important above all. Above any, any person from the past, any significant love connection. That is most important. That right there. You also have the Cosmic Enchantress Wishcraft Alcyon. I attract a steady flow of abundance. I attract a steady flow of abundance. Say it out loud for yourself. I attract a steady flow of abundance. The universe works on my behalf. All right, Scarlet. You have two transcendent cards. Whoa. Oh, this is exciting. Wow. I told you you had protection all over this. I think I said that. I was feeling it for you. If you don't, then you need to, or you will. Call in protection. Archangel Michael. Michael is here for you, Scorpio. I love it. Protecting and guiding this situation that is to do with your heart in any matter, shape, or form. Call upon Michael. If you doubt, dogs in the background. Signifier, barking. Are you paying attention? Are you paying attention to the signs around you? It's all around you. You also have number 18, yeah. You also have number 13, your card. The assist assistance is at hand, the crew. You know, look at this. the crew. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see, Scorpio? Let's read. Michael, don't be afraid to ask for help. There are powerful beings around you. <sighs> there are powerful beings around you to aid and advise. Allow them to assist you. Archangel Michael occupies a potent place in many world religions as a defender and warrior who slashes through deception with his sword of truth. In earlier times, hilltops were dedicated to Michael and both he and the dragon are often associated with earth energy lines. Today, Archangel Michael is understood to be a high-dimensional being who may protect people from draconian and lower energy forms that threaten humanity. He reminds you to stay in a higher vibration than those who would do you harm. Clear the negativity energy from your life and remain in your truth for the best outcome. If you are seeing things, Scorpio, particularly if you are seeing dark figures in your home, dark shadowy figures in your home, or a dark shadowy figure that could even be Archangel Michael. When Archangel Michael has to deal with lower vibrational energy, it requires him to lower his own vibration in order to deal with it. And when he is in that form, he can in fact appear demonic. And it's scary. <laughs> I've seen him in that form myself. 
And that's when I had some heavy energy around me. So I know where you're coming from with that. It's almost frightening. Okay. You imagine how much energy it takes to have to lure for such a being, such a presence as Michael, which is everywhere, to have to lower his energy like that to deal on your behalf. So some of you have really gone through it, is what I'm trying to say here. Okay? And you have assistance. The crew. The crew is around you. Let's see. You are not alone. Open your mind to new thoughts and possibilities. We live in a diverse multiverse. Expand your consciousness beyond the world you know. Those of the human race are victims no longer. Oh, wow. Our current situation was partially brought about by interference from regression alien races. Since we had no control over this, permission has been granted for the benevolent beings in our star family to help. The Pleiadian crew is part of an alliance that has come to the planet to help humankind reach the next level of evolution so we can take our place beside them. Pleiadians are committed to removing the influence of the regressive aliens even risking their own lives to do so. Remember this alliance when the world looks hopeless and makes you feel powerless to change it. Rise to meet the challenges in life and you will be assisted. You are not alone. And for those of you still on the fence about whether or not we are the descendants of multiple alien races that have lived on this planet, for millions of years. Think again. We are. And the evidence is all around us. In the temples that were built before modern machinery. Modern machinery cannot even duplicate what these, the ancient structures that are here on this planet. Which tells you we had advanced civilizations. Far advanced civilizations on this planet long before. I'm not going to get into a history lesson with you today, Scorpio, but for those of you who needed to just know, you know, and there's a lot of information out there now. All you have to do is Google. <laughs> YouTube is loaded. So just go to Gaia. You'll learn, you'll learn a lot there for those of you who know, you know. Let's pull some love messages for you and your person, Scorpio, and then we'll close it out with some charms. Let's figure out what this person would want to say to you. I'm actually curious. There could potentially be two people here. You may have tried to get back with someone, but and also many of you straight up, you were went you went solo. After you split from this person, or after you do split from this person, you're gonna go on that path of personal self-discovery. In a couple years, you're not. You're gonna wonder how you got so caught up on something so trivial. What would Scorpio's person like to say to them at this time, please? Thank you. I'm worried about what other people think about our connection. Shadow work. Your person is doing shadow work. I worry about what other people think about our connection. This person worries about the opinions of others. I'm also guessing that this person, whoever they are, this maybe this person from your past is trying to save face at this time. If there's a new partnership here for Scorpio, what do they want to say to Scorpio? Head over heart, I struggle to express my deeper feelings and emotions. This person could be an air sign, just because it's kind of like my king of swords of the <laughs> of the word tarot here. My word words. Head over heart. I make this person does make head over heart decisions. They rationalize things a lot. Ask for help on the bottom of the deck. Ask for help. Again, if this is a situation that you're wanting to call in, ask for help. Ask for help. What does Scorpio want to say to their person, please? What would Scorpio say to their person at this time? Who 
had this. Taurus had this. You are playing small to please others. Stop dimming your beautiful light. I feel like this is being said to you. Stop dimming your beautiful light. You are playing small, Scorpio. Or you're straight up saying this to your person, that they're not standing in their power at this time. What is the mutual between Scorpio and their... Thank you. Scorpio and their person. Oh, yeah, I bet. <laughs> I secretly imagine things that I want to do to you. Yeah. But secret. Seven of Swords. I secretly imagine things that I want to do to you. They would not express their emotions or opinions or tell you this to your face. Of course, it's their emotions, it's their feelings, who am I to say? But I'm just saying. <laughs> this person, or both of you, rather, are not expressing. You keep it to yourselves. Not that you should go broadcasting it. Just saying. Okay. Learning the truth changed me forever. Bleeding heart. Bleeding heart. Bleeding heart? That could be a flower someone really likes. Bleeding hearts? Wow. Alright, Scorpio. Pull some charms. Let's see what we get here for Scorpio. Guys, if anything resonates with you, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. Show your girls some love. I do appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yes. Now, you know how, um... I mentioned Star Wars, Boba Fett, at the beginning of uh, the reading. Well, this is, I know you can't tell that's what it is, but this is a little lightsaber. This is Anakin's lightsaber. <laughs> Some of you have those Jedi mind tricks. You're pulling those Jedi mind tricks. You're the magician, after all. You showed up that way. Pulling your Jedi mind tricks, mind over matter, head over heart. The Force is with you, Scorpio. Always. Always. This person is with you always as well. I felt the need to say that. Okay. We have a pocketbook. A locked pocketbook. It's kind of like a suitcase as well. Reminds me of a suitcase. Someone could be moving or traveling. We do have a chariot here. Someone could be traveling or getting ready to move. Someone's looking for a new place to live also is what I just got. Okay. We have a locked heart. Lock heart. Lock heart. Who also has... Who had that? Taurus again. Lock heart. Lock heart. That's a place, actually. But the locked heart. The heart is locked. The heart is locked. Got some money here, but... Oh, wow. I have never seen that before. That is interesting. Holy heck. It's a penny, but... It's got a log cabin on the back. I know you can't you can't see it. Not well anyway. It's not a regular penny. It's got a log cabin on the back of it. Might be a misprint. Misprint? See it's a sign. Log cabin could be significant to someone. Maybe you're gonna travel. Maybe you're gonna go get a cabin. Cabin in the woods. Someone grew up in a house like that with a smokestack chimney on the side. Someone's from the mountains. 
Do you have a key, Scorpio? Like to a post office box? Safe key? Or safe? Post office box key? You may have some mail that you need to go check. Some mail. 301. 301. HH. You have the sun. The sun. For those of you who know, I don't mind telling you, Scorpio. Um, some of these items were my aunt's, and my aunt passed away this past November. This was hers. So, sunshine on my shoulder makes me happy. Thank you. <laughs> you're getting reminded to look at that beautiful light, shine your light from within. You're going to do that again, Scorpio. Shine it broadly, brightly, for, for all to see. No more face down. No more face down. You have a pearl. Pearl. A clam. Something by the beach. Something by the sea. But you don't have to. There's a pearl in there waiting to open up. You are this beautiful pearl. Also, the sea is very cleansing for you, or any body of water is very cleansing for you at this time, Scorpio. So go get by the water. Spend some time out in nature. Uh, you have my... <laughs> uh, coin, it says give nothing, get nothing, give nothing, get nothing. Don't expect a handout either. Maybe a hand up, but not a handout. No one's giving out handouts. No handouts. No handouts. Okay. Interesting. You pulled the odd ones here. We have U, Z, and W. U, Z, and W. One, ten, and four. One, ten, four. It could be significant. First, middle, last initial for somebody. You also have my big covalent bond that popped out. And this, for me, talks about, you could obviously have hair this color, you could have one of these yourselves, but this, to me, talks about Clipping things together, holding things strongly in place. And this is like a big one, right? A big covalent bond. It was outside of this connection, which is telling me a big part of your life, something that held you together, Scorpio, something that held everything together got taken away. Or... It's not, it's not removed from your purview. Well, it's, it is like, it's like it's removed from your purview, but it's not out of your existence. You just can't see it right now. You can't see it, Scorpio, but it's not gone. You can't see them right now, but they're not, they're not gone. They're right there. Notice the signs because they're all around you. All right, final letters I'm drawn to here inside that are face up. I see C, C, number three, S, number one, O, G, B. I see live, laugh, love. I see the bumblebee, the bumblebee, honeybee, honey, sweet honey, honeybee, See my Chuck E. Cheese coin, where a kid can be a kid? Laugh, where a kid can be a kid. Be a kid, Scorpio. Laugh. See a male ring, like a wedding band for a man. There's a key in front of it. It's like a sword of truth. Key in a home sort of a house key in front of the wedding band. I see a rose quartz touching it. X below it. 
x, number 5. No, not x, sorry, k. k, k. Another key, a skeleton key. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. Sending you so much love and happy Valentine's Day. I hope something in this reading did resonate for you. You let me know. Drop a comment below, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in your next reading. Take care, Scorpio. Be well. Hello. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you are here, you're here to learn how to do a simple glamour spell. Ladies, I imagine most of you stayed to the end to learn how to do this simple spell. I don't like to call them spells, guys, but they are a pro a, a pro it is a process of spelling because we are saying things into existence and speaking things into existence that we want to see from within ourselves. So that is what I'm inviting you to do. What you will need for this simple spell, it's more of a ritual to make it a practice for you. Ideally, you want to perform this spell on a waxing moon. I do not know when the next waxing moon is, but frankly, I feel like if you're inspired to do so, do so. Okay? But if, for those of you who are more adept with the moon uh, aspects and stuff like that, you may want to really work with the moon in conjunction with your spell, as it should be. All right, what you will need, ladies, you will need a mirror. A mirror, this is my personal little mirror. You will need an apple. An apple. You will need a stick of cinnamon which you can get at most grocery stores. Uh, and of course, you will need a candle that you will light either on your altar or in your special place, wherever that is. You'll also, of course, need a simple cutting knife to cut your apple with, okay? Um, I suggest um, anointing your candle with frankincense and um, orange blossom or any other fragrance or aroma that is particularly nice to you. Uh, frankincense would be my go-to if I were you. Um, but a simple candle as well is fine for this, all right? So in a moment, we'll get started, and I'll see you soon. Step one. First thing I want you to do, ladies, and this is a very, very important, men too, for those of you who are interested, of course, and you stay to the end because you're curious as, as you are, this is important, probably the most important step of this entire ritual. Looking into your mirror, I want you to really look at yourself. I want you to look at your features. I want you to admire yourself. Admire yourself and what you want to see or what you do see. And then after you've spent some time really doing that, looking at yourself in the mirror, I want you to project into the mirror what you want to be, what you want to say about yourself. What do you want to project to the world? Tell yourself you are those things. If you are, I project beauty or I project grace, I project integrity, I project power and feminism, I project love, sensuality. Whatever those things are, I want you to spend some time looking in the mirror, projecting those traits about yourself. And when you're done, we'll go to step two, of course. Spend some time, do this right. Don't feel like there's no rush to this. Really spend some time talking to yourself in the mirror, okay? Finally, once you've spent your time looking in the mirror, I want you to, while holding your mirror, look into it and repeat this following phrase. Into this mirror, I now see the realms of possibility. 
Before me now this sacred fire will help me transform and inspire. Potential of my face and form, from the darkness to the dawn, I call upon this sacred light to be seen, to be bright, let all see who I've become. My glamour spell is now done, and by the power of three by three, as I do will, so mote it be, and so it is. This spell is by Lucy Cavendish. Now, collective, we're going to take our knife and we're going to cut our apple in half. We're now going to take our cinnamon and we're going to shave some cinnamon onto the apple on both halves. Take your time. Shave as much of the cinnamon as you can, I say, from the stick onto the apple itself. That looks pretty good. Now, by the light of your fire, you are going to eat both halves of the apple. And once you are finished, you will be done. Collective, ladies. And gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this spell. Do let me know. I will see you after I've finished my apple. That's good. I hope you've enjoyed this spell and ritual. Now that you've eaten your apple down to the core, you can now blow out your candle and release your wish into the universe. Good luck, break a leg, and namaste.